FightHype.com here with Mauricio Suleiman, of course the president of the WBC. Uh, the world is, is kind of awaiting this decision. I think the deadline was today on the 26th. Is Tyson Fury officially vacating the WBC world title upon uh, uh, maybe retirement? You know, uh, Tyson Fury family suffered a horrible, tragic situation with the loss of his cousin. And uh, the WBC uh, would have no heart to pressure anything while they're going through this moment. We are extended to September 1st, next Friday. Um, we, we have been in communication with the promoters, with Tyson Fury himself. So we're gonna wait one more week. Uh, as I've been saying, he did his mandatory title defense, April 23. There is no rush, no hurry to have a decision. Uh, there are a few fights going on that have been uh, scheduled as elimination bouts. Andy Ruiz with Ortiz, Wilder with Helenius. So I would not uh, pressure anything and I will not bother uh, the Fury family during such a sensible moment for them. We will extend uh, for one more week. So after September 1st, uh, what happens? Um, is there a chance, Mauricio, that with the extension, that we keep allowing extension after extension, that due to whatever tragedy, uh, is it fair to hold up the division, though, with all the moving parts that have been going We're on? not holding up anyone. How, how, how are we holding up? I, I just mentioned that Wilder and Helenius will do an elimination, Ortiz and Ruiz will do an elimination. So the uh, division is active. If he was to retire, then he would make a, we would make a decision on what is next. But at this time, he did his mandatory obligation, April 23. That's Mayo, Julio, Julio. That's right. Four, four months ago. So there is, it would be an injustice uh, to have a champion like Tyson Fury, who just did the mandatory. Uh, we have no no hurry to take any decision and we're giving him the respect that he deserves as a champion. So is he cleared then to go ahead for a four belt fight with Usyk? He doesn't, he's cleared for the time being of, of needing to defend the title again. How, how long does he have to make a fight with Usyk before either Ruiz or, or Wilder, if they win their fights, you know, it gets, man, it gets mandated? And... You know, uh, the rule says you have one year to do the mandatory defense. Right. Uh, you have to be active as a champion, but uh, he's coming off uh, uh, mandatory and everybody's hoping and, and supporting the, the idea of doing the ultimate uh, on the spirit championship fight. We are not going to hurry or try to hurt anyone. Uh, the division is very much active with many fighters participating in fights. Uh, we have the convention in November where all the rulings happen, so at this moment, uh, it's just a hype. Everybody wants to to know the information. Everybody wants to see a undisputed fight. But uh, this time, uh, let's cool down, slow down, and let uh, Fury and his team uh, have the time to make the ultimate decision. Now, I had a, uh, just a question on. Obviously, we have a huge fight with Canelo and Triple G. Humongous fight. You know, it's going to be like another sellout event. Just you know, curious because you know everyone's been asking about maybe a Dave and a Canelo. convention last year in Mexico City uh, Canelo requested to be able to do fights in the heavyweight divisions that's why we ordered an interim title for Benavides against Lemieux uh, Benavides is going to defend his title soon and Canelo Triple G is in a couple of weeks so at the convention we will have uh, the ruling of what is going to happen in that division Benavides is a very good undefeated champion and we have uh, Charlo, who is another possibility. There's many fights uh, that are uh, viable to, to be made in that category. I believe uh, we read recently that you decided to discontinue the WBC franchise title. Is no, I don't know who, yeah, yeah. who posted that. Uh, the franchise designation has been very, very effective. It was good for Canelo in the middleweight. Uh, it was very good in lightweight to enhance many fights. 
and Chocolatito Estrada 3 is going to happen at the end of the year. So uh, there's only one at this time. Right now, only Estrada is using the designation. So it's not a big deal. It's to enhance the big fights to happen. And, and just to go back to just Fury for a moment, I know that it got extended to September 1st. Is it? And, and forgive me if Marcus asked this as well, but are you going to do potential extensions to that September 1st deadline as well, or is that the hard cutoff? No, I don't, I don't want to anticipate anything. Uh, if, if we were hurting any fighter or the rights of anyone, I would understand. But at this time, we're simply talking to the fighter, talking to his uh, promoters. We are allowing the process to go. I think you want to see Fury back in the ring. People want to see Fury. Usyk would be great. Fury against somebody else. Let's give him his time so he can... Uh, I mean, he just had a, a, his cousin assassinated by stabbing. It's a difficult process for the family, so we're going to do it that way. Gonna be fighting for your title on October 8th, Carlos Tavares. October 8th, WBC, next WBC middleweight champion right here. Thanks to him and his hard work. Tremendous, tremendous fighter. Oh. Very proud of you. Yeah, the Dominicans are doing a lot, man. After Cuello and Hector Luis, and now you, the Dominicanos. Dominicano más yeah. alto, más grande. Vamos con todo.